Here we go, 56 lure set. This is by Zan Lure, and it's coming to me from an e-commerce site called Bang Good. Look at all these beautiful lures. The hooks are sharp, and there's a lot of different varieties of uh, baits here. A lot of jerk baits, suspended, sinking, and floating. Look at these little tiny crank baits, really tiny panfish baits. All right, as soon as it stops raining, I'm gonna get out and catch some bass with these. Now, there's 56 and they're in separate categories. So I'm gonna try and fish with at least one per category. Just pouring buckets right now. All right, I've come out to the park to test these lures out see which one works best. I think I'm gonna start small and work my way up. It is a little breezy, but where I'm at, there's little fish right in the margins, in the shallows. I'm gonna start with this and then work our way up. Some of these look like they would catch walleye and pike. I wish I was up north. I think a lot of these would do really good on walleye. Probably could catch speckle trout with a lot of these though. These are freshwater lures, so the salt would probably rust them up pretty quick but you never know i've fished uh plenty of lures like this and salinity counts at real high and they're still fine so let's start casting and see what i can get all right there's a lot of little fish right here this little this little crankbait would probably be oh there's a bite already i had a bite Oh, look, it wobbles in the water. That is awesome. I bet this would catch bluegill and other little panfish. Go a little slower now. Whoa, yes, here we go. Finally. Look at that. The little crankbait caught a little bass. Whoa, and there he goes. Oh, yes. Man, these fish love this little tiny chartreuse colored crankbait. I'm doing like a slow to medium retrieve and the little crankbait is wobbling and vibrating, even at a slow retrieve. And I've discovered that it, it's a slow sinker. I can pause and it'll start to sink. And then if I start reeling in, I can keep it up. There's a bit of a drop off in front of me. The fish are coming up from that and hitting it. Plus right between the drop off and the shore are a lot of little tiny minnows, a lot of bait. And that's what these bass are feeding off right here. As you can see, I'm right by the waterfall. Water is heavily oxygenated right here, so the fish are very active. The bait fish are just popping up out of the water. All right, it is time to go bigger. We know now that this is a nice little bait and the other ones like it probably work in different situations. But I got a, quite a bit of bites and I technically I caught a fish though it came off right at the shoreline, quick release. So let's go a little bigger. Like I said before, I'm gonna try and fish with one from each category. Let's go, let's check out this one right here. This looks like a little jerk bait. I'm not quite sure what it does. I see that it has rattles in it. It's kind of close to that chartreuse color though. It's a little darker, but this water is good for darker bait. So let's give this a try. I'm fishing this on 12 pound fluorocarbon. All right, first of all, I want to point out, because <clears throat> this bait has a longer bill than the first bait I threw, it might dive a little deeper. So I got to be careful. I am fishing shallow water, but let's give this a go real quick and see what happens. Oh yes, there we go. There's a, a hit. Terraplane him in here. 
Look at that. Here we go. The little jerk bait, twitch bait thing catches a fish. Yes. That was nice. It's a little dank. This, uh, this little bait appears to be a slow sinker as well. It has really great action in the water. I'm surprised by its action. Oop. There we go. Nice little big lake dink. Whoa! Yeah, you're right. There he goes. All right. Let's move on to the next category. Put that in its place. And we're going to go just a little bigger now. This is the next category here. And it's a toss-up for me. I kind of want to throw this chartreuse one. Or this one. And then this one, this category has more baits in it. The last category that I just tossed, there's four different kinds of these. And this is eight. There are eight of these. I'll show them to you real quick. Get them in my hand if I can. Here we go, eight different little crankbaits. I suppose these are crankbaits. All right, which one do you think? I think I wanna go, we'll try this one right here. It's not too bright, it's not too dark, it's kinda in between. This color can work sometimes here. So can this and this. And this one right here is not a bad choice either. See that? So uh, I'm doing a medium retrieve with short pauses. Yep, there we go. That's a nice fish right there. Well, nicer than the first one I caught. Here we go. Another little dink. Check that out. I knew this would be a good color for here. And again, I was doing a... A medium retrieve with short pauses and I got him on a pause. There we go. Little dink. We're working our way up. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, same crankbait. I just couldn't resist throwing it again. I love it so much. All right. This little crankbait I <laughs> got a lot of bites and... I like it a lot and the other ones like it were probably really good for other waters like up north where I wish I was today it's hot here so this puts out a lot of vibrations and it's got a little bit of rattle to it I like it but let's move on because there's a lot of lures in this box and this is the next one you see that short bill I think that means it's a low diver it's also a rattler it's similar to the color I was just throwing, maybe uh, a little brighter and a little darker on top, but we're gonna go with this first. And as you can see, all these right here, are, this is the collection of this category. It's all different colors, bright and dark, and a lot of flash with them, so like those two. There's some there that might work. But let's put this on and give it a cast. All right, I'm not getting any interest in this one. Instead of switching categories, I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna switch to this. Whoa, right off. Whoa, yes. Right off this wall. Yes, finally, switching colors was the ticket there. Look at that, right off the wall. I think this was just a perfect mix of shadow and reflective light. It's got a bit of chartreuse in it, but the, as you can see, it's black on top. All right, now we can switch to a different category. We'll have to remember that. Still a dink though. All right, when I finally got the color right, I figured out that 
a couple of jerks with a medium retrieve then a couple more jerks was the ticket and that's how i picked up that fish off this wall right here now let's move on to the next category which is very similar to this whoa ow. let's see let's pick the color i think we will go with this this one here i got a big old mess of them there are five of these it has a different bill then the uh, it has a different bill than you see that bill than the one i was just throwing we'll try this color just like the last one i caught on it's got a gray belly or silver with some uh, gold and green flake reflective sides if you will and that black top all right this seems to be a floating jerk bait with a little bit of rattle so what i mean is it dives when you retrieve and when you stop it'll float to the surface yeah no no damn it I'm hung up. This color wasn't working out for me, but I didn't want to lose it. I'm hung up on someone else's line. You gotta pop that stuff. You can't leave it out here. What is wrong with people? Ah, and there's a fish out there too. What? You're a big one. I lost it. Had to pop it. Wasn't going to go in there. <clears throat> Where are the annoying paddle boaters when you need them? All right. We're going to go with this. It's kind of a fire tiger, but the re main reason I want to go with it is because of this green and the black on top. This is out of a different category. Again, I have to say, if you snag up, don't cut your line. Pop it so you don't leave so much line out there. If you leave a, a lot of line out, all of us other fishermen are going to get hung on it, and we're going to be very mad. So let's give this a try. This particular uh, color pattern works really good up north, and we'll, we'll see how it works here. I really want to fish this waterfall i'll have to fish the sides of it try to stay away from that line i don't want to repeat what i just did but this is a really good spot to fish because the water is very oxygenated i'm trying to do a clinch knot here all right so i'm running out of time i'm going to lose light pretty soon this has got some pretty good action lots of rattles and it's a slow sinker but I only got one bite on it and I want to move along. I'm reviewing this kit here on I mean set. So I want to get moving here. We're going to pick another one. This is a slightly smaller jerk bait right here. I'm going to go with this kind of dirty looking one. Can you see that? I'm going to pull up this whole mess here. See that? We're going to go with that. A lot of these look good. This one right here looks good, this blue one. Now let's get it undone and put it on. Whoa. Doing my part. No. I lost one again. I was fishing them cattails because I saw what looked like big fish activity around the edges of them. So this is the same category, just a different one, blue and black with gray on the bottom. Now I'm gonna th throw this a little bit and switch to the other ones though. 
this lake I'm fishing has a lot of small bass, and I'm not sure if these bigger jerk baits are going to do good, but bass are known to be greedy. So let's do this a little bit and see if we can get through these others before we lose the light, which we are losing. All right. So I'm gonna just put one more on. This is a, a this turned out to be a sinking jerk bait with some rattles in it. Pretty good action. I'm running out of time. I gotta go soon anyway to do other things. So let me pick one real quick. One that I think might get some uh, attention. We'll go with this and we'll see what it is. But since I still have the light, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this product a little more. This was sent to me by banggood.com. It's made by Zan Lure. And so far, I'm happy with it. I've caught a lot of fish on quite a few of these. Had a couple bites on the ones I didn't catch. And you know, for the price, this turns out to be less than a dollar a lure before shipping. It's $39 and some change, I think. So I think it's a pretty good deal. It's a, it actually would make a good gift for another angler, someone you know. If you want to uh, go after different kinds of fish in different kinds of water, you got a variety of lures here. You got small to big, you got sinking and floating, you got some that put out a lot of rattle, put out a lot of vibration. Pretty good, uh, pretty good lures, I'd say. Once, uh, once I'm back up Midwest this year, a lot of these will work out really good, and a lot of these will work good down here in this dirty water that I usually fish. So, if you have dirty water, this is still a good thing to uh, check out. It'd be a lot of fun if you have gin clear water. There's a lot of good things in here for that too. I think a lot of these would catch walleye and pike and smallmouth as well as largemouth. So down below in the description is the link. Check it out. And I'm going to try this last lure and then get out of here. All right, I've had enough of it. It's nothing but gar active right now and I need to go. I've got other things to do. So I really enjoyed fishing with this set. It would make a great gift, like I said. There's something burning over in the distance. So I gotta go. Y'all have a good night, good morning, good day, because I'm gonna go have a good one too. And see you next time.